Good afternoon to everybody. Welcome back to all fours e-learning classes. Today, today we are going to discuss about the nature of the enzymes, the action, nature of the enzyme action, nature of the enzyme actions we are going to discuss today. In previous session, we discussed about the how the enzymes are acting as a catalyst with the, with the catalyst and without catalyst how the reactions are taking place. Now we are going to discuss about the nature of the action of the enzymes. Nature of the action of the action of the enzymes. So in this topic nature of the action of the enzymes, what is the mechanism is there? How the enzymes are converting the substrates? You know very well in the beginning only we discussed that a substrate molecule is a combined with a specific site or active site of enzyme. This enzyme is a catalyst highly reactive, the sites are there. And the substrate molecule which is going to bind here and form a enzyme substrate complex. This is called as the enzyme substrate complex. This is enzyme substrate complex. This once this enzyme substrate complex is formed, the tightly bound the substrate molecule it is enzyme particularly the active sites of the enzyme. Once it is uh, enzymes are enzyme tightly bound to the substrate molecule, conformational change occurs. The conformational change occurs in the enzyme and it's a little bit modifies and alters and tightly bounded, it forms a complex. At this stage, next what happens here after this, uh, the bonds are going to break in the substrate molecules and new bonds are going to form. That means uh, substrate molecules once combined with the enzyme and conformational change occurs then its bonds going to break in the substrate molecules and the new bonds are constructed and converted into the products. That means they reach the transition state. So this is formed into a intermediary product, intermediary such enzymes, uh, intermediate product called as intermediary product uh, called enzyme product complex. This is also a complex. This is a complex. But once this is over, once the substrate molecules are converted to products at the end of the transition state finished, then they separated as again enzyme and as well as a product. So, these enzymes action is a very specific because they combine or they find they form the bonds with the specific substrate molecules. Very specificity is there. The enzyme will act on particular only one substrate molecule. That is the reason the conformational change occurs when it tightly bound it. Then they form a complex. Then bonds by present in the substrate molecules are going to break, converted into the products. Then products are the outside as enzyme and uh, this product is coming outside. So this uh, mechanism is uh, explained by two theories are there in this. One is called as the lock and uh, key model. One is called the lock and the uh, key model is Emil Fischer. First one is called as the lock and as well as key model. This was uh, proposed by the Emil Fischer. One of the scientists is called as the Emil Fischer. So Emil Fischer proposed that lock and key model, the action of the enzyme, how they are taking place, the activity of the enzyme as a catalyst, converting substrate molecules into products uh, mentioned in the lock and key model proposed by Emil Fischer. How it is take, takes place, let us see. So these are having the, suppose this is the enzyme. This is the enzyme. Suppose this is the enzyme. This enzyme is here like this, it is there. This is the enzyme. Now where the substrate is going to join, the substrate molecule 
is going to hear this is a substrate. Suppose this is a substrate here like this. This is called substrate. So this enzyme substrate combined together. They form a conformational change. Once here they join tightly bound it. So that is the reason here like this here occurs. It occurs like this. Then next here you tightly bound by the substrate. And this is called as the enzyme, this is called the substrate molecule and form a complex. So, like this one. So, once this is a conformational change is over and according to the enzyme, according to the substrate also sometimes, this enzyme modifies its active sites also. And as a result of that, of that it is going to give rise to the next uh, enzyme as it is like this and this product the product may be here may be formed here like this or like this so this is the enzyme and these are all the products here so they will come out of this one again this enzyme and as well as products is comes out separated so in this way just like a locked key model how the lock will open with a specific key similarly Every enzyme having its specific sites are there. And according to the sites here, this is called active sites. These are all called active sites. Where this active site, the substrate molecules are exactly, they are going to fit into the active site. They are fixed. Once the fixed here, conformation change occurs, according to this one, sometimes the enzyme is also alters its shape. And then the starts the breaking of the bonds in this and new bonds are constructed convert to the products and comes out. This is a lock and key model just like a, you know very well, simple lock is also, we know very well in the case of lock, this will open particular key, with only with the particular key it will open. So the key is having a special design like this one, it will, the liver which is going to fix in that, the liver, liver action which is going to fix in this grooves and this lock will open. So this is the simple explanation by the lock and key model by the Emil Fisher. So, the first what happens here? In the first step, the enzyme combining with the substrate molecules. Number one. Number two, the enzyme here tightly, the enzyme tightly bound, tightly bound to the substrate molecules. This is the substrate molecules. In third step, what happens here? The conformational change occurs here also, conformational change. Conformational conformational change occurs here in this not on this one and the bonds will break and form a conformational change occurs and enzyme substrate complex formation takes place in third step fourth step what happens here once this enzyme substrate complex is formed once conformation is over then enzyme substrate complex form is converted into the enzyme and as well as as well as the product complex is formed and released out released as a enzyme and as well as a product separated so in four stages the process of the enzyme action is going to takes place this is simple mechanism what observed that what the what the uh, what he said that simple mechanism how the lock and the key they are functioning and how the lock is going to open with the specified key similarly Particular substrate molecule is particularly specific enzyme only that act as a catalyst to convert the substrate molecules into products. So this is the one of the mechanism is mentioned in this manner by the you know Emil Fisher is there. Another theory is there. Another theory is there called as the Koshland proposal induced fit theory. It's also similar almost like this only induced fit theory. Another theory proposed here by the induced fit theory is the second one is called as the another one is called as the induced fit theory. Induced fit theory it was proposed by the Koshland. Koshland proposed this induced fit theory. How it says that? So simply suppose he said that in this case you see this one enzyme structure. This enzyme structure is not exactly present here. Suppose like this is the enzyme structure is there like this. It is there like this. It is the enzyme structure is there like this. So it is having the active sites are there. Here is the active sites. You will find that the active sites are there here like this. And where they are going to bind here like this. See, this groove is there. These are active sites. 
So once this is the enzyme here in this manner, now when the substrate molecule is going to fix here, the substrate molecule is here. For example, substrate molecule appears like this. This is a substrate molecule. Suppose for example, substrate molecule. This is a substrate molecule. So exactly, this substrate molecule is going to fix to the site of this enzyme action site. But the shape which is present like this enzyme is going to alter. According to this induced fit theory proposed by Coastland, exactly suitable substrate molecule only going to fix it. Suppose substrate molecules are like like this. Suppose uh, substrate molecules are like this. It is present here. Suppose they are not going to fix here. Exactly whatever the suitable suitable substrate molecule is going to fix in this manner. In induced fit theory, it was proposed by the Coastland, and uh, they put together how just they are going to alter. They are going to alter in this case. See, they are going to change its structure. How it is there? Once it is going to fix here in this case. Now this is here like this. Suppose like this is there. Now the structure which is going to come out like this. See the position of this one and change the position of this one. Exactly. This is here where you are going to see the substrate molecule is going to fix like this. So exact site they are going to fix in this manner. We see very clearly in this manner the substrate molecule is going to take place here. Isn't it? This is called. These are all the catalytic site. They are all the thing called called catalytic site. These catalytic sites which are joined here like this, where they are going to join here. Catalytic sites are there. They form here conformational bond. Here enzyme substrate complex. This is a substrate. This is an enzyme. So in this manner, this is induced fit theory which was proposed by the scientists called as the Postman. Exactly, they are going to fix in a particular region and. The liberate after completion of the substrate molecules into products, they convert into products. Then release it outside again. See the shape of this one is their enzyme site is like this. Once a year, and the substrate molecule entered and combined with this one is altered its shape. The position site of this one enzyme is altered according to substrate is changed. So this changes little bit change of the site of active site of the enzyme is taken place. Depending upon the availability of the type of the substrate, so in this manner, this is called as induced fit theory. So this is proposed by the Coastland. So in this way, the enzyme actions are going to take place. This is the nature of the action of the enzymes, like this lock and key model, and as well as induced fit theory, they are going to take place in this manner, right? So this is the one of the important tool is there. And uh, <coughs> next we will go for the next one that is the factors affecting the nature of the enzymes so the functioning of the enzyme there are different factors are there the factors the factors affecting the affecting the nature of the enzymes okay the factor affecting the that means nature means here function affecting the nature of the factors affecting the factors affecting the functioning of the enzymes so functioning of the functioning of the enzymes so in this way functioning of functioning of the enzymes so how there are different factors are there particularly there are the factors which are called as the number one is called as the temperature is there so temperature And as the last second one is called as the pH ion concentration, and as the third one is called as the substrate concentration is also we can take substrate concentration. So in this way, we can see that the temperature and as the last pH ion concentration, substrate concentration, these are affecting the nature of functioning of the enzymes. factors affecting the functioning of the enzymes there are different varieties of factors like this one temperature is there in this case okay so in the temperature how it is acting here how this is taking place let us see generally the nature of the enzymes you know very well they act optimum they act efficiently most of the enzymes most of the enzymes act efficiently 
efficiently efficiently at optimum temperature optimum temperature exceptions are there already we discussed particularly the enzymes which are inorganic in nature organic enzymes are influenced by temperature or pressure but inorganic is there in this inorganic enzymes are there these inorganic enzymes are more efficient more efficient than the more efficient than the organic enzymes in all aspect means the maintaining the withstanding the temperature or pressure pressure so most of the enzymes but inorganic enzymes are more efficient than the organic but most of the organic enzymes are very efficient they will act at optimum temperature only so at what a higher temperature and a lower temperature if you remember that at low the enzymes are inactive enzymes are enzymes are inactive generally inactive at a lower temperatures at a lower temperatures so that is the reason we know very well the food materials are not going to spoil at lower temperature if you keep in low temperature like just like a freeze we will keep the our food materials in the freeze that do not spoil because of the reason that is low temperature enzymes are inactive but at higher temperature what happens at a higher temperature at higher temperature temperature the enzymes become denaturation takes place denaturation takes place so this denaturation takes place at higher temperatures what do you think of denaturation means here breaking of the bonds the breakage of the bonds which are going to takes place in the amino acid sequences of the enzyme because in amino acid sequence is nothing but a protein so all en enzymes are all made up of proteins so the amino acid sequences are going to break due to higher temperature that is called denaturation breaking of the peptide bonds present between the amino acids in a protein protein is nothing but enzyme protein not ordinary all protein because all proteins are not acting as enzymes only catalytic nature of the proteins only act as an enzymes so that is the reason where the catalytic nature of the proteins with amino acid sequences are there due to higher temperature they break suppose if they cross beyond 60 degree centigrade generally they are going to break actually below 40 only they efficiently they will work below 40 degree centigrade they efficiently work if you cross this one means if you reach the maximum 60 degree centigrade the organic catalyst or enzyme proteins are going to denature means amino acids are going to break and they do not function as a catalyst so at a lower temperature at higher temperature they are not going to act at optimum temperature majority of the organic organic enzymes acts as a efficient catalyst in performing the functioning of the chemical reactions converting substrate molecules into products so this is the nature of the action of the enzyme so two aspects are there we discuss that is what is called lock and key model and induced fit model and emel fisher and coastland proposed on this one okay today i will end this session and we will continue tomorrow good day